So I've been getting into the line of like different types of microphones and everywhere from uh, their USB type C, micro USB type B and even XLR. And the one thing I've always struggled with is trying to find a XLR controller or a phantom supply, all that good stuff that will actually that will actually work, that will actually do the things I needed to do, like everything from gameplay to stream and play, uh, volume control, mute, unmute, all that good stuff. So I decided to go for the Go XLR Mini. Now I know there is a much larger version of the Go XLR, the actual full version. I think at the time being, I wouldn't get the full utilization out of it. So I decided to have a look at the Go XLR Mil uh, Mini, which is this guy. Like I said, we're talking about Windows 10 Pro OEM key, currently at Great British Pounds of £16.85. But of course, because it is the Black Friday sale, we do have some amazing discounts for you as well. And what we're going to do is go to buy now. And one of the other great things about this Windows 10 Pro OEM key, it does allow you to get a free upgrade to Windows 11 as well as. But if you've got the promotion box and type in SKJT, click on apply. So for me, all you need to do is go for the submit order as you would and collect and select your payment type. What I'm going to do is go to view keys and codes. So you can highlight that, right click it, or just simply press control C. Head over to your settings, top left hand corner, type in activation, click on change. And in this box, control V or just right click and uh, paste. From here, click on next. Windows will check to make sure it's a genuine key. Windows won't allow it if it's not a non-genuine key or a fake key or a non-registered key. So from here, all you need to do is click on activate and you are pretty much good to go. So guys, here we have it. This is what we're looking at today. This is the Go XLR Mini online broadcast mixer with USB slash audio interface and Midas preamp. So I've been looking at one of these for quite a while because some of the microphones I am currently reviewing do require an XLR support. And I thought Go XLR, one of the most, you know, some of the biggest streamers in the world now use these guys. Obviously, this is only the mini. There is a larger version of the Go XLR, but unfortunately at the time, I don't really think I'm going to be utilizing all of it. So this is definitely something I wanted to look at. So let's get this unboxed and see what we're working with. So all you get in the box is you do get a small little uh, quick start guide. So this is just going to tell you, obviously, basically how to get started, how to connect it, a little bit about the setup and all that good stuff, which is obviously something you need to keep an eye out on. You do get a USB to, I can't remember what this port is, but you get the main port. This is actually going to power up this device. And then we also get a large amount of sticky plastic, which we're going to remove now. But I am going to remove these so I can get more of a cleaner pull. Oh. Oh, so satisfying and such a beautiful outstander color. I'm going to pop these stand stanchions back on because we do kind of need them. They are very easy to take on and off. It's just a small little uh, hole in the bottom of each one that just goes slight on. But this is what we're looking at. This is the Go XLR Mini. Now, the one, one reason why I did want to get these is because while I'm in gameplay, you know, I listen to music a lot. I'm editing a lot. I like to change things up and I hate going into the settings and doing it because during mid game or mid stream, it gets annoying. So what this is allowing me to, to actually utilize is changing the sound effects and the volume controls of my microphone, my chat mic, my music and my actual system. But it also allows me to actually mute them, allowing some other things going on like mute. And then I'm not really sure what this button on the bottom does. That's something I'm going to have to have a look into. But that's pretty much what we're going at. So let's have a look on the outside and the inside and see what's actually roughly going on. So on the front here, we do have our microphone jack and headphone jack, which we're going to be utilizing. On the side, we do have more honeycomb design going on each side. Sorry, for some reason my camera can't focus today, uh, which does allow for obviously air vent and airflow that's going to be going through. And it's the exact same on the opposite side as well. We do have the large air vent grills here, so it's going to stop it overheating for regular, like, aggressive usage. Now on the back is where all the magic happens. So we do have our USB port. This is going to be our main power to the device. We have line in, line out. We have our optical port here. So if you want to uh, attach this to a game, oh, a game console and that good stuff. And then we also have our Midas preamp, which is XLR in. So if we're going to utilize this with a uh, microphone uh, that does a condenser microphone that does have an XLR port, we can plug that into there and we are pretty much good to go. So this will act like a kind of like a phantom power supply 
but that's pretty good to see. So what I'm going to do is quickly get this plugged in to see what it roughly looks like with the lights all up. So I am, this is just going to be a simple review video. I'm going to do another one when I actually get some microphones set up to this and actually we're going to start playing around with the sound, how it actually acts and works. So there we go. That's what it roughly looks like when we get it first plugged in. So we have the, as we turn up the dials here, we can see that the dials do actually follow. As we can see, so if I turn that all the way up, we've got the full blue light. So we can roughly see where we're actually going with the likes of volume. So if I turn all these up, these buttons on the bottom, what actually allows us to do is allows us to mute them. So um, obviously whatever's going on in my system or the likes of the microphone, it allows us to utilize all of that, which is pretty cool. I do like that. The one thing I do like is when we actually get this operational all up and running, if um, if you've got it set so your chat volume is a certain level, but it actually it should be a lot less or a lot lower, these little blue tallies on the side will actually go to a preset level, so you can either move that up, or you can move it down to the actual preset level, so that's one thing I did enjoy about this. So after I did have a look, I realised what this bottom button actually is, as we can see it's more like a muddled, muddled up button. So this is actually a sensor button. So what this allows you to do, so say if you're, I don't know, you're on stream, you're gaming, and then all of a sudden you get killed by a bot and you just, you want to freak out. You click this button, it allows you to bleep out anything that you're about to say that's in a form of profanity or anything like that. It allows you to beep it out. So that's one pretty much cool idea I like because I normally do have a little bit of an issue with sometimes when I try to say things that I shouldn't be saying. So this allows me to click that button and allows me to mute it out and beep it out. So that is very, very cool. So the one thing that you will have to do is actually download the driver for this guy. In the manual, it does say the website that you go to is like TS-Helicon. Uh, uh, and then you've just got to download the GoXLR Mini uh, drivers for this. And then you'll be able to utilize it through the app as well. So that is pretty, pretty cool. But I have to admit, overall scale of this, I am going to be doing another video about this because I didn't want to do the full-edged video of this, setting it up and everything because it was going to be extremely long. This was just a basic introduction to the device itself. So what I am actually going to do, I'm going to do another video uh, after this and it's just going to be like connecting it up, using the software, utilizing it. But I just roughly wanted to show you what it was all about, uh, what it looks like. Obviously, the actual build of it, it's all metal frame. Uh, you've got all your utilizations on the bottom that you can use and it does look extremely cool and this is definitely going to be living on my desk uh, from this time on it's just going to make life so much easier while gaming streaming and all that good stuff so um if you guys do have any questions regarding this please drop them down in the comment section below i will help you of course because this is definitely going to be a learning curve for me as well using something like this and utilizing something like this so head down in the comment section below and let me know how you feel and we'll pretty much go from there so there we have it guys that is the go xlr mini that we have just went through don't worry about it uh, but i have to admit i was extremely surprised like i do believe i will get the a full version of the go xlr eventually but at the moment in time i don't have the fulfill need for it so i believe it's a little bit that's I, I wouldn't say pointless but pointless for me personally i only require to control a certain amount of uh a certain amount of microphone and volume control especially when it comes to playing games or low level streaming low level videos this is pretty much going to be my next best friend especially with the xlr support you've got xlr support you've got usb support as well as optical support so you can pretty much got fulfilled guide of this as well as it being extremely smooth i have to admit plus the buttons are extremely tactile like i said when i plugged it in you could see the led shining through so you know fine well what you're shining and then just the adaptive support so it pretty much tells you when to turn it up or when to turn it down so i have to admit that alone has to be one of my favorite features of this guy as well as it makes me feel like a little mini dj when i'm actually gaming so i pretty much like that as well but i have to admit overall it really did a amazing job so if you are in the market for something like this you don't want to go too extravagant to the full go xlr but you want the go xlr mini Head down the links in the description. The links will all be there so you can go check them out for yourself. And always, if you do have any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. Can't find the answers. I'll be able to find the answer for you. But as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any further videos. And as always, I really do hope you have a blessed and beautiful day.